Since the initial design on this woodshed, we decided to have a steep roof on this side to match the angle that solar panels are supposed to be in our area. So the building is facing directly south and the angle I believe is 53.6 degrees. So the goal of this video is to get those solar panels mounted into a frame and get that frame mounted up on the woodshed. So I drew up a design for our solar panel mount and I have a cut list of boards that I need. I don't have any of those boards readily available so I am going to have to do some milling to get my lumber for this project. first two boards. This should be all the lumber I need for this project. I've got 12 2x3s and 5 2x4s. I did not have to mill the 2x4s, they just came out of my pile of 2x4 lumber. And I didn't have to go gather any logs because I have a stack all ready to go, but some of the bottom ones were kind of frozen in, so I'm going to be soon getting to a point where it's not enough snow to pull them in with the snow machine, but too much to go get them with the side-by-side. -side. So we'll see what we do in the meantime. The greenhouse is my workshop for this winter. I'm pretty excited to get into some woodworking projects again this winter. So this is the lumber for the project. All that back there is kind of scrap pieces that don't really fit in the stacks in the woodshed. Just odd cuts and whatnot so I can use them for any projects in the future. So let's see if we can turn these boards into something functional. So we're going to start with ripping three of these two by threes in half so that we can end up with two by inch and a half. From there, I've got to rip a couple two by fours 
and then we'll get them all run through the planer and get them all smoothed out and nice. Now that I have my basic dimensions all ripped down, I'm going to run all my boards through the planer. I've got quite a few boards to get through there though. So I'm gonna start with the two by threes uh, and hopefully they stay somewhat close to that, but usually I lose about a quarter inch on each dimension. So we'll start running them through and see what we end up with. <laughs> forgot how long it takes to actually plane all my boards but I got through them all and now I just start cutting them to length and assembling so I'm gonna start with the easy cuts that don't really matter on the thickness of the boards uh, from the planer adjusting that slightly so I'm gonna start with the main outside and I've got the first two vertical ones on the sides, and then I'll have to go get the ones for the top and bottom. But all of these I already have lengths figured out, and I'll just get those all squared up and cut up, and then we'll be able to move on to the ones where we have to figure due to the thickness of the planer.
Okay, those should be the boards I need for my main frame. I got two boards for the top, two for the bottom, and then one for each side. The reason I have two for top and bottom is just because I can't mill boards long enough to cover the entire length that I need. So I'm going to have to butt these up together at the ends and put some sort of joint in there to keep them together. Okay, so these six pieces are going to be for the lip on the top and the bottom for the panels to sit onto. Uh, they are not going to be cut the same as the top and bottom boards I just did so that my joint doesn't line up, so I'm going to have that cut into thirds for these. And being this one has quite the curve to it, I think this is the one that will be the shorter piece. Because I need two that are 35 and a quarter and then four of these to be 85. So that one will definitely be one of the shorter ones. And I think that will be the other one. Okay. So of course, being these are logs I cut down, I gotta make sure I cut the ends square first. And these are long enough for my 35 inch, so I don't need to use those at all. Okay, all I have left are my 10 vertical boards for mounting the panels actually to before they slide into place. Okay, first bit of assembly. Hopefully it uh, comes out to what I was hoping it would. Guess we'll see if my cuts in planing turned out right.
that will be my top or bottom rail. They're both the same. And I'll make the exact same thing.
Well, that's it for the main frame. Uh, it's not super sturdy, but I'm not too terribly worried about it because this main frame will get uh, screwed straight to the roof. So next I got a pre-drill holes for these. These are the exact same thickness as these rails that the panels sit on. So they will slide in place. So we'll have the panels mounted to these and they will be brought up and tipped into place and they'll sit right in here. And then I will have holes pre-drilled that I just drop these down into to secure them in place. So I know people are going to say it's probably way too cold to be staining or painting outside right now, and you are correct, but we are going to do it anyway. We want to get at least some sort of protective coating on this frame before it goes up on the roof. Um, I'm pretty sure the biggest thing that's just going to happen is it just won't stick to the wood that great. Um, but if there's ever a point where we just have to restain it once it's up there later, that's totally fine. We just want to get something on there right now before it goes up. It's like a, it looks like paint, but it's called a stain. Um, so it's a pretty thick, thick stain. Uh, and it is called slate. So we are going to kind of just put at least one coat on as much of this that is exposed and then we'll wait and then tomorrow we'll flip this. Cody will finish drilling the holes he needs to drill and then I'll cover the rest of it. But it is at least going to be above freezing. So that's something. The can says it's supposed to be 45 degrees outside when you put this on. So we are definitely way colder. Um, but we're, we're just doing it anyway. It's kinda, kinda how we roll.
<clears throat> all right looks like that first coat is on I think it looks really nice doing this um, kind of it's called slate with a black color um, I think it's gonna make it look really nice against the black roofing along with the black solar panels it'll all just kind of tie in together I know sometimes Cody's a little sad when he spends a lot of time milling them and planing them and making the boards look super nice that just painting them and kind of losing all of that wood look he kind of gets sad about it but but we'll have more projects in the future that we'll be able to leave actual wood or stain more of like a true stain instead of like a painting stain. Um, but for this specific purpose, I think it, it needs to be more of a, a paint than a stain. And I think it's going to look really nice once we get it up there. I was running out of space to maneuver this frame in the greenhouse, so we moved it on top of the sawmill here. Uh, we have it flipped so that Lori can finish painting. But in the meantime, I'm going to test fit one of the panels, get it marked where the holes need to go on those uh, support pieces, and then get those drilled on all of them. Ten to seven eighths. These. So these should fit perfectly on the panels now. I'll get it bolted in there and see what it looks like. So now these supports are bolted into these holes on the solar panels. And they are separate from the main frame. So we will be able to attach these first, set the panels in place, and then once they're in place to secure them so they don't come apart, we take our lag bolts, drop them down through, and secure it in place, both top and bottom. I'm not going to drill these in yet until I put all the panels in place so that I know they're lined up how they need to be. And then I'll take my drill bit, pre-drill it as deep as I can, which doesn't quite do the full length, I believe it comes somewhere to here, and then the leg bolt will screw in just the last little bit. stronger than this. <laughs>
ました。The boards aren't quite dry yet from the uh, first coat, but I'm impatient. I'm just putting these nuts on loosely so that I can set it in the frame and they'll just still uh, adjust slightly. And then once they're in the frame and I get them bolted in, then they'll, I'll take them off, but they'll be in the right place at least. Harder to hold this now. Okay. Huh? It's a little bit harder to hold this now. Yeah. That's like the extent of the width my hand can hold. Yeah. snubbed by the bird. Okay. Doing the outside ones? Yep. So you're putting that in place and putting the bolts in or? Yep. And it'll fit in. The 
it's already holding itself up higher by yeah. putting that one in. That's a little bit even more, hopefully. plan on doing it on the bottom then? I'm just going to flip it, I guess, once we probably put it down there. Big gap on that panel. Oh, okay. I should be able to suck that. Oh, yeah, that's moving it. I don't want to strip it out, though. That should be about there, though. No, that needs to be up like a quarter of an inch more in the very end. Oh, that's just for the panel to move a little bit extra. Oh, okay. I'm going to screw this one. I'll try and hold it. I just kind of want to see what it looks like when you pick up in the middle, if that's even possible. But if I pick this up, does anything change or make it easier? No, not really. Here, what if I lift up on the top? Oh yeah, that definitely helped. It's still not far enough though. There it goes. Maybe. Like I said, both the top and the bottom are. A little bit more? Okay. Well, I think these panels went in pretty nice, but we are going to call the video here and not mount this on the roof quite yet because we contacted the company where we had these panels from and they no longer make these panels. So we will likely be getting a newer version of the panel. It will be compatible with these, but the dimensions are just slightly different. So we're going to have to get that panel and fit it in here in the center before we try and mount it up there. So. This is going to be at the end for this one, and we'll get that ordered right away.